first thing that goes through your mind when you hear St. John's as the opponent? Uh, it's pretty exciting, you know. It's not just to play St. John's, but just to be in the uh, tournament period. How many of the guys from when you were there you know, are still on the team at St. John's right now? Um, well, none of the guys are there. I played with 10 seniors, so it's a whole new team. What would be like seeing Coach Lavin over there on the bench? Uh, it's going to be great. You know, Coach Lavin, he's been nothing but positive uh, with me since I left, so it's going to be great to see him again. Do you have something to prove when you see him? Uh, no, I don't have anything to prove. You know, he's a great coach and a great guy, and I just want to go out there and play the best of my game. I only been in there one, last year. It was my first time, and this is why I came here, so I could be in March Madness. So. Last year was a fun experience. I know we went to the Sweet 16, and if I could taste that another time and a little bit more, that's what I want to do. You guys knew you were in, but how nerve-wracking was it just sitting there waiting for the name to be called? Man, like I said, just nerves running through you. You start sweating, and you're just ready to hear your name called because it's, it's, it's that time of the year that we've been waiting for. Um, just excitement, really. Um, just excitement to, to be playing. Um, you know, coming into the tournament, you know, you only know a little bit about each team, so you, you can't really say too much about the opponent, um, but you're just excited about being called. Well, through all this hard work, though, what, is, what does today mean to you, personally? Uh, it means a lot. Um, it gets sweeter each time. Uh, and just to have been in this program for so long and um, have what we have, it's, it's amazing. Um, and to do to go out like this is going to be is going to be really amazing. So we're hoping to make history. Uh, we got to get one game at a time, but to have this opportunity now in my last year is it's a blessing. So I'm excited. You mentioned this before already, but what was your first thought when you find out you're drawing St. John's? Uh, man, I get to play against one of my best friends, uh, D'Angelo Harrison. So I can't wait. That, can you give me the background with your, on your best friend? Uh, well, we're both from the same city, uh, same neighborhood. I grew up playing together, middle school, AAU, uh, all the way up. Uh, he's a year older than me. Uh, he's a great player. How about just being back? So we can expect a lot of trash talking then during this game. Oh man, Coach Fisher don't like me to trash talk, but I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I'll probably get a, say a few words. How about just being back? I mean, you've been there every single year. You guys seem this is where you expect to be, but just the feeling of being there. Like I said, man, I, I would, I didn't expect nothing less than for us to be in the tournament. You know, and uh, I think we got a good draw. You know, I, I think we got a fair draw. I think we got a team that, you know, we can match up with and uh, have a chance to move on. How quickly do you forget the type of We are immensely excited to be in the field of 68. I think any time you have an opportunity to play in the NCAA tournament, you have to be excited, thankful, a bit fortunate. Uh, and we have now gone six straight years, so we're very, very aware that it, you have to have a body of work to get in. We were able to do that, and uh, we're going to go to Charlotte and play a very good St. John's team that I know a little about right now, but by this time tomorrow, I know a lot about. So we will quiz Dwayne Poli to see what he remembers from his tenure there and get ready to play a Steve Lavin-led team. So we are very, very happy, like anybody in the field is. What does sustain mean to you, Selection Sunday? This is what we all dream about as players and coaches and as fans. Whether it's fair or not, this is the time of season where teams and programs either grow their legacy, redefine it, uh, continue to build on it. And that's what we hope to do. Uh, but getting in is a major accomplishment so to be in the field now we're in now we want to win now we want to play friday and be able to say okay let's start scouting for a sunday game and that's the nature of the business our goal is to play for three straight weekends and uh, very few will obviously but we're we're we have a, we are one of 68 that has a chance